may have to go in there. Let me know, hold, come on, come on, come on! <sighs> What's going on guys, my name is Cameron Kites and today we are back with Vanish. We're gonna try to beat it this time, and I know I kind of said that last time, but yeah, this game's scary and I want to beat it, but I don't, I, I, I have no words. <laughs> I'm just, I, I want, I forgot that the uh, sensitivity on this is so huge. I don't know what just happened. Okay, so yeah, cool, we can run. Um, so the main thing is i just have to find those keys um and really there's not much else to that is i gotta find the keys and everything and once i find those keys i can then take it to where i need it to be um which i don't know if that's necessarily the door that i'm supposed to do because there's no like actual unlock um because i've only ever found the water area can i is there no Um, because I would love to just run through this and hope I can get it, but, like, at the same time, there's no point to. I have to take it slow, I have to take it steady, and, yeah. I didn't mean to touch that, but whatever. This is just a straight shot of death, is what it seems like. Like, I need to find, not necessarily the water pump room, but, like, I'm just going to keep going straight because it's, like, kind of leading me where I need it to go. I walked through glass there. That's fine. I didn't realize there were bottles on the floor. See, I got, I went into this. Like, not actually scared. And my heart is starting to pound, so. Okay. I wanted to get as close to the wall as possible before I turned around. Of course, if these stupid guys are here, I'm gonna be so mad. I don't know why, it, like, okay, if it was me, I wouldn't even touch the stupid thing, and I would have just stepped over it, and it would have been fine, but no. Oh, look, I'm back at the beginning. Okay, I'm already seeing stuff that I've never seen before, so... I've never seen a door like that open or that little archway before. See, I'm trying to be nonchalant, but like my hand broke, I broke out into a cold sweat when that happened. Really suck if that guy was right up back here. Walk on the sides. I'm walking on the sides. That's another thing. It's like. <laughs> okay, the nerves are back. Why the music? Look, I'm back at another one of these doors that it doesn't matter. And it just, I can't do anything. And I know I'm complaining, 
it's more of I'm trying to sound uh, cooler and chiller than I actually am feeling on the inside because I'm sweating and my heart's beating like quickly but I just gonna walk the other way I'm gonna go this way Like, this game has great atmosphere. Don't get me wrong. I'm trying to get past it so I can beat the stupid thing. Because I don't want it to be like Markiplier's where it lasted four years. Not not really, but it lasted a while. Okay, water pump room is this way, supposedly. I don't know exactly where, but you pointed this way. And back we go. Is what I'm talking about. This is the first time I've actually had to like. Wait, okay, never mind. It's the second time I've actually had to loop back. Oh, it's just that. Okay. I was like, what do you tell me to pick up? Like even then, I'm not even seeing anything on the ground because I think it's supposed to be in one of the rooms. But, like we're gonna get. I probably could turn back around, but I don't want to keep changing direction. to do. I think you just have to keep going because I think the method is... I came from. I think the methodology is you have to find one of the rooms and then find the other room and then that gives you the key because like it's some way of creating progress because when you leave the room that happens so it could just make a checkbox in the game's files or whatever. I have no clue. I honestly don't know what I'm talking about. I also don't know why all this sound is happening. And my field of view is like pretty far out there. going this way. More bottles. I don't know why it's Am I about to die? Is that what's about to happen? Because so, that's not fair. Oh, but I found the gate! No! No! Come on! 
the gate though. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so I guess I got like close uh, because that that's basically it is you have to find the stupid um, stupid water tank or the, the pump room and then the other room and I guess there's some other tricks that that video that I just watched showed me um, but I honestly didn't have any issues so yeah. Also found out. I also found out that apparently the difficulty in this game, uh, how it increases, is like based off of your like tunnel vision, and then the notes that you find. But also, it doesn't reset to the beginning essentially. Um. Unless you close the game out and everything. So, yay. This one I am doing in a very particular way because that has the sign for the water pump room or the generator room and I want it so I will be going that way. Uh, that's also why in the, um... Oh, access gate was that way, okay. Either way, it, that... Would have to just go back into that tunnel. But, um... Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. That's nothing. The graffiti means nothing. The notes are... <laughs> the notes are indicators of the difficulty level I'm on, so the more chaotic it gets, the more, the higher level that I'm at. So like this last one. Should I go back this way? I really would like to be in this game today. far enough for it to change. Come on. Amount of looping I have to do here. Like just let me go one direction. And just keep going. There was a monster right there. God, there was. How screwed am I? Because I have no way to escape. Where 
gonna go this way. I don't like the whispers with the notes. I can't do anything. I think I just respond. Okay. Cool. It listens. Nice to know. I kind of already figured that out. But I just have to keep walking. Oh, yes. Okay, I need to grab the glow sticks that are in here. Go away. Thank you. <laughs> he listened to me. He's like, oh, okay, sure, I'll go away. Whatever, I'll just walk it. Another dead end. Go this way. Oh, there's not another dead end. Oh, there's it. Okay, good. It's not directly. Okay. Got the glow sticks. Just good. Ah. May have to go in there. Let me know, hold, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> okay, so one thing the guy recommended doing, which I didn't do, was turn up the brain. So I am going to do that. Brightness is going to be all the way up. Based off of how I'm seeing this, it's basically... I'm just going to have to sprint as much as I can in the beginning to try to get through this before that first shift and everything. Wow, wow, okay, cool. And I can't... There, I can sprint now. Look, there's a hard hat. That literally means nothing. Uh, so, yeah, so we're going to try to beat it in this one, hopefully, because all I have to do is pretty much, I have, to, I have to get to both rooms, that's basically the, where the crutch of all this is, is I have to get to both rooms, 
Oh, <laughs> that up high. Good job, Mickey. It's basically like I have to take the right turn, but I think I think eventually it gives it to you. Um, where you're able to then get to the door. I don't want it to be. I don't want this to be a multi-part series of me just failing and failing and failing and failing and failing. the glow sticks now so I'm good it's like there's three parts of this game part one is why don't I just climb in and get out but whatever I guess Part one is finding the first room. There's no guarantee what that room will be, whether it's this room or it's the other room. I'm kind of stuck. this way part one is finding your first room which will yes someone right there um, part one is finding the first room part two in part one, you have to grab the glow sticks and everything. Part two, I feel like you you need to find the, uh, come on. Part two, I feel like you need to find the second room, and then the keys are supposed to be in there. Then part three is finding the door. Um, but I think it's crucial to grab everything in there when you go to these things. That was a monster right there. Like, I feel like that is, like, crucial, crucial, crucial to the game. the uh this gate is gone that was a dead end for a second um but yeah so like you have to grab the glow sticks part one then obviously you need the keys for in part two and then part three or there's not necessarily any parts you just keep going until you find a room because it's going to be in one of those rooms used up one of the glow sticks.
it sooner rather than later. so much for watching if you enjoyed leave a like down below and comment down below if you're a part of the video also if you have any tips or tricks on how i can beat this stupid thing let me know please because i i want to beat it so i can say that i beat it um also if you enjoyed it and you want to see some more hit the subscribe button and turn the notification so we can be notified whenever i upload and also down in the description you can see links to all my socials you can go check me out on the platforms but i hope you all enjoyed this i'll see you all next time bye guys